And as we brace for another round of severe storms and on your sides, Justin Shecker is standing by with a look back at the worst weather related disaster in southern Arizona's history. Justin, good evening. Maggie, thank you. In the fall of 1983, Tropical Storm Octave brought 10 days of intense rain and storm damage. The, the total cost of damage was half a billion dollars, and the flooding in spots turned fatal. During the torrential rains from Tropical Storm Octave, the flood damage is more than extensive. It is almost unbelievable. Southern Arizona's rivers swelled to record levels. That was the highest I've ever seen it run, and, and over the banks. Erosion from the raging rivers rendered bridges uncrossable. Personally, I also watched when banks were undercut and people fell in the river back in 83. Widespread flash flooding overwhelmed first responders and overflowing washes wiped out buildings. This morning, the raging Rieto whittled at the riverbank and at a set of office buildings. By late Sunday afternoon, the river had chewed away at one of three buildings in jeopardy. <laughs> scary. I mean, I've never seen so much water in my life. As sandbagging proved pointless, the flooding forced thousands of Arizonans to evacuate from their homes. Statewide, the storms killed 14 people. Two DPS officers lost their lives while trying to save others in Marana. After nearly 12 hours from the time of the crash, the bodies of the pilot and the paramedic were recovered. <laughs> And right now, taking a live look at the Santa Cruz, things are calm tonight. But if this river and other washes across town start overflowing tomorrow, please stay away to hopefully avoid any life-threatening accidents. Now, of those 14 deaths during the floods of 1983, five were killed in storm-related accidents. The other nine were swept away in floodwaters. We're live on the Congress Street Bridge tonight. I'm Justin Shecker, KGUN 9 on your side. Thank you.